And then let's talk about these portions right around here. Okay, I call these the four effing factors. Okay, the four effing factors. And you can see here how they're connected. So actually, let me see how I brought this down here. Yeah, so let's start here with the blood vessels. Okay, if you look at the blood vessels here, blood vessel factors, um, first of all, the two aspects of the body that influence this the most are the heart, of course, that's part of your circulatory system, and the gut. We just talked about that with the leaky gut and how, um, you know, when that inflammation goes into your blood vessels, it inflames the uh, endothelial lining, it'll actually cause cracks in that lining, which causes your body to have to go and repair them. And that's what the plaque is. And that's why the gut is so involved with the blood vessels, is once those blood vessels get inflamed, they start cracking. And once they start cracking, your body has to go in and repair them. And usually how they repair them is with uh, cholesterol. Cholesterol will go in to sort of patch it, and then the body will start to calcify it. And that's when it starts to become a real problem, especially if you have excess vitamin D, like vitamin D3 in your system, then it can definitely increase that calcification that's happening uh, inside your blood vessels. Okay, and that's why the gut is uh, intimately involved there. And you'll see here too, that this blood vessel factor is so important over here at the top, uh, uh, core alpha inhibitor, which is the blood flow alpha inhibitor. That makes perfect sense. Also morning wood alpha inhibitor, because that is morning wood is dependent on two basic things, blood flow and um, a testosterone. Those are the two main things. So you'll see how all these things, I'm just kind of pointing out how these things all interconnect. So you can kind of see it and it can start to cement in your brain because they're on the same side. You know, they're purposely in these areas for a reason. And that's what I'm pointing out to you. Okay, so we talked about atherosclerosis or arteriosclerosis, and that's what I was just talking about, that calcification. That restricts your blood flow, so not as much blood can get through. But there's also fascial restrictions, which we talked about on the BFAI, the blood flow alpha inhibitor workshop I did recently where I taught you the foam rolling. Okay, that, um, that's fascial restrictions. Those, uh, co that connective tissue gets tight and clamps down on those vessels that feed the pelvis, which feeds your penis for the erections. Okay, those are just two examples, but two really important examples of how the blood vessels are involved with this. Okay, so now let's move on to the nervous system one. If you would like help with your unique and personal situation from us, I put a link below that will explain all the different ways that we can help you get and maintain superior stage four rock solid hardness and lasting power both permanently and naturally at any age. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips to attain elite level bedroom performance and I will see you in the next one.